il faut qu'on contrôle nos ressources. Parce qu'on ne peut pas, on peut pas abandonner notre main, notre, notre terre, parce que c'est notre seule survie. Nous, nos terres, sont nos, c'est notre unique survie. Para nous autres, del movimiento y para nosotros los campesinos y campesinas indígenas y quilombolas de Brasil, eh, las principales luchas están en términos de la tierra, tanto del acceso a la tierra, cuanto a la defensa de la poca tierra que tenemos. Y nosotros, a lo largo de la historia, estamos a, a, a ser saqueados por las transnacionales y por el agronegocio. Nuestras tierras están en las manos de ellos. The main challenges of our time we are facing with uh, controlling the resources, focusing on uh, designing strategies that are going to allow uh, local communities to be able to control uh, access to land, access to fishing grounds, so that they can use these natural resources to sustain their livelihoods. And in the food system, uh, decisions are at the moment not taken by those involved. They're taken by people who sit in offices, uh, who are far away from, from the reality of the land. communities are now realizing that what is being put forward for us for, as a means of production, as a means of sustaining livelihood, is not for us. I think we have to reject what we're told. For example, that carbon trading is the only practical solution to the issue of climate change, or that the only way to save the environment is to put a price to it. The concept of the blue carbon funds, same like RDD, is talking about how expand the market. They are changing the commodity from forest to the sea. And then at the same time, they're talking about how to conserve with sale the resources. We try to uh, place the interests and needs of people into the center of our agriculture and food system instead of putting profits and the interests of transnational corporations. The solutions are those that are based in life, continuity of life, not money and profits and more profits. The solutions are life related. That is when you come up with the real solutions. Y nosotros pensamos que diante de todo esto no tenemos alternativas. O, o movimiento campesino, o movimiento ciudadano tenga alternativas. Eh, una de esas grandes alternativas se llama soberanía alimentaria. La soberanía alimentar es una de las verdaderas soluciones para eh, el enfriamiento de la temperatura global, ¿no? junto con la agroecología campesina. Porque es una forma de cuidarnos de la naturaleza, de las relaciones sociales, y producir alimentos sanos para la humanidad. Cuando nos hablamos de, un, de construcción de un proyecto político para la soberanía alimentar, todos los sectores responsables por la producción de alimentos, nós tenemos pastores, nós tenemos pescadores, nós tenemos comunidades indígenas y povos originarios, comunidades de bosques, comunidades de ríos, eh, trabajadores migrantes, todos esses setores são responsáveis é, é, pela pela produção alimentar. The solution is uh, in the hands of uh, uh, people on the grassroots, because uh, they are living uh, with the land, and they are facing all the problems coming from the climate change, and they are experienced enough to to, to deal the thing, and they know how to adapt, how to mitigate the impact of climate change. Faire l'agroécologie paysanne, il y a un pilier essentiel dans le cadre de la souveraineté alimentaire, c'est d'avoir la terre et l'eau. Parce que maintenant, on parle du climat, on ne parle plus de la terre, 
Mais non, au contraire, c'est que la solution, c'est d'abord de gagner les luttes de la terre et de l'eau pour pouvoir faire l'agroécologie paysanne, pour pouvoir apporter des solutions au changement climatique, pour avoir de la justice sociale. C'est d'abord par ça qu'il faut commencer. We need to see people having access to land. We need to see people feeding their uh, local people. That, that is the way forward. One thing which is very, very important. And uh, we recognize that nobody is going to give it to you. And there's a lot more of us than there are of those lobbyists. There's a lot more of us who want healthy, affordable food. There's a lot more of us who want to have a healthy planet and a global food system that we all believe in. But if we don't get together and make our voice heard to the powers that be, then they win. And it's just a handful of those bastards, basically. There's need for us to converge together and work together for our survival and the survival of this planet. Yes, and we are going to win. So there's an absolute urgency to unify because we are like fingers and if we stand separately power will come in and break us off one by one but when we unite we're strong and they can't break us apart. One such place to do so, one such political place to do so is the food sovereignty movement which in Europe at least is also called the Nieleni Europe movement. And I think this is a real, real progressive and very, very um, powerful movement right now, social movement. One of the very important processes that we are trying to create is uh, the Nieleni uh, movement, to the Nieleni Forum actually. Um, for the first time uh, we will organize uh, the forum, this forum in Eastern Europe. It's uh, the European Food Sovereignty Forum. Um, in 2016, it will take place uh, in Cluj. We are very, very, very excited about this. <laughs>